right then, I've just passed the... F I've turned the video off. Um, but I've been talking to the farmer. And he said he's got five steers. He said they're up past the gate or something at the moment. Um, he said they won't hurt you. So, i just seen three runners go through that field where the bullocks, they've managed to get through. I think they've run round the edge though. They've run round the edge. Hello everybody. It's been, well, I don't expect any of you were alive when I was here last. There's um, so it's a new reference point actually, Bamwell Hill Fort, when I'm out now. There's the farm. Just been talking to the farmer, he's a Cumbrian chap. And uh, he's been down here 50 years, I think. I mean, he's probably, he could be my age, maybe a bit older. It's hard to tell. Like I said, it's dull weather, but you've got to come out in all weathers, you know. Yeah, he said he's got five steers. He said they won't hurt you. So, he said they're down up by the gate at the moment. Just seen three runners, like I said. Fit young men. And they could run out on those cows, I think they could. Now these sheep here, they've come from Cumbrian. They did tell me their name. I can't remember it, but they were showing them on telly not long ago. They've just come from Cumbria, so they're a special breed. They're a, I don't know if they're rare. Oh, do you know what? I'm really enjoying this, even though it's not very sunny. Um, I am nervous about the, about it could have been him, or his son if he's got one, who um, escorted me. I was just talking about the farmer and then the farmer turned up. Yeah, Weston over there. Yeah, we're going through the drove now. Oh, I'm going to keep the stick out actually just in case. Yeah, he's lived here 50 years, imagine that. He's still got his Cumbrian accent. And he loves it. He said he wouldn't go back to Cumbria, too cold. Hello, tree. Hanging on there, aren't you? It's, um, it's not windy here at all. I've probably done it right, you know, coming this way to avoid the wind. I reckon there will be a path, you know, that follows right round the base. Now I've got a feeling before I went up through the wood, but I'm not going to do that today. <coughs> it's only one field I've got to get through. I'm trying not to turn too quickly with the camera, so I've noticed when I watch them myself, it's far too. Mo I'm moving far too much, swinging the camera too quickly. Yeah, of course, you think the last time I was here, I was younger and fitter. Yeah, I was. It's surprising how you can... Uh, I feel healthy, though. In a way, I feel healthier than I did then, but I was stronger. I, so, I had more strength, though, even though I was probably not as fit. I went through a period of unhealthiness. When I became a nurse, actually... Um, 
I did nursing for about two years and then I started smoking after like 16 years with no fags. Yeah, and I had a, hell, a, a type of unhealthy period, but then I can't blame it on all life events, but um, basically some life events didn't help. They added to the stress. Oh, I can hear a raven. You joining in? A conversation, raven? Hey? He was just telling me there's some people that have lived in the village for all their lives. And they've only just discovered this place through COVID. Hello, little family. Hello. How are you doing? Aren't you lovely? You're not the Cumbrian ones, are you? No, you're not the Cumbrian ones. Yes, come on then. You're coming to speak? Oh, hello. The Cumbrian ones are like the sort of, um, I should have been a shepherd really, shouldn't I? Hello, aren't you beautiful? Hey, look at me see you. God, you're so pretty, look at you. Hello everyone. So I'm going to leave you now. Yeah, you could be those Cumbrian sheep. I got friends from up there. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye, lovely sheep. I ought to take a picture. Let me check. Right then, I've left the drove. Seemed to be over so quickly. The walk seemed to be over so quickly. There's a farm there. I think this is where I normally see the cows. He said they're up by the field. You can see the hoof marks, but no cow pack. There's the path across. Could even be the next field. I'm sure it was this one, though. Yeah. Yeah, footpath. Look at those lovely oaks, everyone. They're gorgeous. Horse flies trying to get me then. He said that he got five steers and they'll be up by the. I wonder why he's done that. I can't, I can't see no cows. Beautiful oaks, look at them. Hello, lovely oak tree. A lucky one, lovely place to live. Haven't you? You won't be disturbed here. I've got a little oak, you know. I don't know where I'm going to put him. Or her. I think... Well, I don't know where, where he was talking about. You've got him up by the gate. Maybe I've got to meet them yet. Maybe they're in the big field I've got to go in. I haven't laughed to meet them yet. <sighs> Beautiful tree. Beautiful. Yeah. Right folks, that changed battery a minute ago. I'm good, going down this narrow path behind a great big mansion. Beautiful mansion with beautiful views over to Banwell Wood and further over to Western Supermare Hillfort. Up there we've got a bit of an outcrop. Um, and I've got to go not up that bit but up through the trees. Up to the, I've got a big, big climb coming up now. But I reckon, I, I'm beginning to believe it now, that this is the way around Crook's Peak, that you go round. This is the, the route, I think, where you can go round. See little sheepies in there? Like I said, he said there were five steers. Well, I haven't seen them yet. 
So, I don't even know if this land's his. Yeah, I think you can follow on round, you know, and come and come up that way. I think you can. I reckon you can. Here's a little dog gate. See? See this appliance here? You lift it up. It lifts a pole up. Let your dog through. So here's the scene. I've got a, I'm, you can, I've not explored yet, but you can go around that way. But I'm, my intention is to climb up as far as I can go and then I'm going to head straight for St Andrew's Church at Compton Bishop. That's plan A. But another time I do want to explore these other routes. And I think this takes us right the way round Crook's Peak. Um, I've seen the path and I've often wondered where it goes and I reckon this is it. So I'll only I won't be videoing me for long because I've got to climb up hill in a minute. And um Bar of chocolate. There's sheep in this field, as far as I can see. And the sun's coming out. So, like I said, if I if I carried on round that track there, that would bring me back this way. And there's another pathway there. Look, with a style look. There's a pathway there, but of course, it doesn't really tell you where it goes. This could actually lead down to a road, which I wouldn't want to do. There's a road that leads to Winscombe that runs down the bottom there. So, Or it might even lead to a farm, but there is a style look. So here we go, folks. I'm going to climb up. Up and up. I'll do a little bit of video in as I go. I've just climbed over that stile. Um, I've got my stick, one of my new sticks that was given to me for Christmas. I had two sticks and a survival tin. <coughs> With a flint lighter in which is really good where you rub the you chip and get a spark. Chip and clip. Now I'm going to be taking a very, very steady climb up here. You know, um, it'll be nice, a nice slow pace. And there's a lovely little sheep. He's defending his family. He's looking very, very, like he would attack me. If that was a cow looking at me like that, I'd be quite worried. But I know it's just a sheepy. He's guarding his family. I mean, they're as big as a dog. They could do trouble if they wanted to. Hello. Yeah. I've seen three boy runners, or men runners. That's all I've seen. Did you see them earlier? Did they come running down here? Now, as I go up, I'm expecting there to be a lot of wind. Like I said, I'll probably turn off in a minute and take some photos of the views as I get higher up. I've seen uh, maybe one first sign of cow, but I am expecting there to be cows, uh, a part of it, I reckon, further up. <coughs> I, am I do reckon there will be. This is a steep climb. This is going up towards the top of the Mendip Hills, basically. I'm, I'm gradually climbing up. And uh, I would be on top of the Mendips. And eventually I will be, because I've got to climb all the way up this way. 
I think last time I went up a path over there and I might do that in a minute um, change direction in a minute at the moment I'm just doing this I can see the motorway I'll just zoom in then I'm going to turn off folks there's the M5 motorway looks busy doesn't it Going up to Bristol or down to the southwest. Over and out, everyone. <laughs>